Hi Church, welcome to today's devotional. My name's Jamie and I'm from the Chester location. Thanks so much for putting some time aside today for this devotional so we can spend some time with God together. The scripture I wanted to talk about today is one you're probably familiar with. It's John 16 verse 33 and it says, In this world you will have trouble, but take heart for I have overcome the world. What this scripture is saying is that with certainty we will experience trouble. However, because Jesus has overcome the world, with certainty we can also say we will experience victory. When I experience trials, uh, I'll often pray as I'm sure you do, but my prayers will often be focused around, God, why is this happening to me? And God, can you take me out of this situation? Well, recently I was praying about a, a trial and these words came into my thoughts. God sometimes parts the sea, but sometimes God wants me to learn to swim. And that really resonated with me. And it, what, it's, what it was saying was that God will sometimes perform a miracle. As we know, he parted the Red Sea. But sometimes he wants us to learn something or change something in ourselves and therefore he will allow a trial to happen. So God wants us to be more like him. And what these trials allow is for an opportunity for us to grow and to change. And they enable us to rely and trust in him. Uh, and trials really facilitate that. When things are going well, we often don't have the need to rely on God as much. And that's why trials can be so important, even if we don't like them. And they also push us out of our comfort zone. And that's really essential for us to grow. Now, I don't know if you saw the programme on the SAS fairly recently, um, where people uh, go through a series of tasks to see if they will be selected for the SAS. But when the SAS train, the SAS soldiers train, they will go for a leisurely 30 minute walk. They'll stop after, uh, halfway and have a picnic, enjoy the scenery, uh, and they'll really just have a, a really nice time. Now, of course, we know that's not true. They push themselves to their physical and mental limits. And why do they do that? It's because they're preparing themselves for the toughest battles. And like them, we're also preparing ourselves for spiritual battles to be able to step out in faith to, um, to carry out God's plan. And that is what trials allow us to do. The other thing I wanted to touch on was sometimes we can believe that we've caused the trial and therefore God isn't in it. And that just isn't true. We all know from the story of Job that any as a Christian... Any trials have to go through God's approval. And we also know that God is love and God is good because it tells us that in the Bible. So therefore, any trials that we go through, we know are ultimately for our good in the end. Now, what I would like us to do is to change the narrative. So from, from us thinking, God, why are you allowing this to happen? Uh, to be able to start thinking... God, uh, help my faith to grow, to allow me to carry out the next phase of your plan and let this trial be a, a way of facilitating that. And that is my prayer for you, for you all today. So thanks everyone for joining. Uh, remember, sometimes God parts the sea, but sometimes God wants us to learn to swim. See you later, church.